Hey everybody, Bobby here with EasyLink. Today we have our Polaris Axis in the shop. I'm gonna show you some features and functions that are available to you guys on that machine. So let's jump right into it. To start off, we're gonna need our Auto Agent 3 and we're gonna need our Polaris cable. Now, Polaris cable is the same across the board. So whether or not we're talking a UTV or a snowmobile, the Polaris cable is a Polaris cable. So one cable does everything. Also on this application, you will need what we call our power-up cable. Now our power-up cable kit for Polaris consists of three items. Right now we have our alligator clips that will connect to any 12 volt power source, um, car battery, small UTV battery, anything like that will be will be just fine in that case. And then it also includes the power connector for the, the new style connector for 850 and up on those ones. And then also in this case, we'll be using the older style connector for the axis chassis. And all three of these are included in the kit when you purchase it. So you'll have everything you need to go from there. So a couple of the functions that we get asked for and have been asked for uh, is exhaust valve recalibration and also uh, TPS adjustments uh, on these machines. So the TPS adjustments on these machines is a manual procedure. You'll want to refer to the factory manual for that. Uh, but in order to do that, you are going to need to be able to read the voltage off of that. And so with the unit plugged in and powered up, we can go in here to our app and in the app, we can display TPS voltage. And that's what you need to be able to do on this particular thing. So you can adjust your voltage and you can monitor in real time what you're seeing on the screen. So in this case, we're registering 0.91 volts and wide open throttle, we're registering 4.27 volts. So you'll wanna to refer to the factory manual for the correct specs and adjustments for your particular machine on that. So that's one of the functions that we get asked for. The other function was, like I mentioned, the exhaust valves. And so with the exhaust valves, we're gonna go in here to our vehicle. We're gonna go into vehicle functions. Uh, you're gonna come up with a file that says consumer programmable features. We're gonna hit run. And inside that, uh, that particular folder is going to list the available functions for the machine that you're currently plugged into. So in this case, we have exhaust valve recalibration. Now, when you perform this procedure, you are gonna to wanna to do this outside with the vehicle running. That's how this is supposed to do, and you will actually not need the power-up cable connected to perform this procedure. So with the vehicle running, it provides power to do everything. You just wanna be in an open space to be able to do that again. Here, for this purpose, and what we're doing here, we have everything powered up uh, so we can perform this function uh, here, just to show you. So we'll go ahead and hit Submit and you'll be able to hear the valve cycle through on the machines. This procedure will take roughly about 20 seconds to complete, start to finish. And you'll get a notification on the screen that it has been completed when it is finished. And just like that, exhaust value has been recalibrated and you're done. So just like that, it saves a trip to the dealership if you're out on the snow already and you have an issue, or if uh, you're performing maintenance work on this machine and you pull the exhaust valves out and you clean them yourself. You don't have to go to a dealer to have that simple procedure done. So give us a look for stuff like this. We're coming out with more stuff all the time and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. As always, thanks for watching. Check out these videos and make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more EasyLink content. And we'll see you on the next one.